Hi everyone. Today I'm going to record another short story of my book called Clandestini. The title is Badante. In Italian language Badante is the one who take care of someone, the one who look after the old person, aged person and it's paid job. In Italian language they call it Badante. The title is Badante. I know Shanti from last six years. I am living in Arezzo, Arezzo from last six years. That's why it has been six years that I know, I know her. Shanti is a Sri Lankan lady and she is Hindu by religion. When I heard about Shanti that she had heart attack, I got shocked because whenever I saw her, on, on my way or on the road, she used to walk very swiftly. It means I found her all the time fit and sound. At the moment, Shanti is in Arezzo Hospital called San Donato. It's quite possible that they send her for further checkup to Siena or Milano. I pray for her that she get well soon. First of all, I would like to tell you what is the meaning of Badante or Kolf. In Italy, if you look after any handicapped person, old man or anyone who is mentally ill is called Badante. On the other hand, babysitting and domestic job is some kind of Badante as well. Even if you look after a dog, you are doing Badante's job. Now let's come to the real topic about Shanti. Many years before, Shanti came to Europe after facing many difficulties. Finally, she came to Italy and settled here. In the beginning, she had language problem. She didn't have any place to sleep. She didn't have any job. And she didn't have documents. She had to face all these problems on her own. She wasn't the only person who had these problems. In these European countries, there are many people who live here without documents and they waste their many precious years and time to get documents. I would, li I would like to clear one thing. The people who come to Europe and they pay 5 lakh rupees, it's a half million. They think they have done great revolutionary job or great revolutionary work. In fact, it's not like that. When they come to Europe, they always keep one thing in their mind that in European countries, they have document system. It's not like our countries. There is no control. You go to any place, you find job and start working. If you come to Europe on tourist visa or student visa or for business, then your situation is different. If you enter in these countries illegally, then your status is different. If, if you enter in any European country without documents, it means you are illegal in this country. According to their law, you are living here without documents. Every European country has its own laws and legislations, but if you don't have permit of stay or work permit, then you are clandestine. You are illegal. It's not like that, that you will enter in any European country. As you will arrive here, you will find job and you will get documents. The first thing you need when you arrive is shelter, then job, then documents. Obviously, food is the first thing. There are many ways to get documents, like you find some girl and marry her. You apply for political asylum or that country where you are living illegally. Then open the, if that country where you are living, if they open the immigration, they announce 
open MNST. I was talking about Shanti. Shanti face, faced all these above mentioned problems. Shanti must be 50 years old. She had slim smart stutter, ordinary face, color dark, short or you can say squat. She had small eyes and she can hardly open them around her eyes. There, there are and there were dark black marks which were because of sleeplessness, stress and restlessness. She used to walk very fast. There was a lot of agony and woe in her voice. When Shanti came to Italy, she had some co-national who was settled in Arezzo. Unfortunately, she came to her as in those days, except England, in every European country, police used to check documents and which is still in practice. Police has the legal right to check anyone, either Italian or foreigner. Her friend harassed her that in Italy police control a lot, so you should not go outside without any purpose. Shanti was very coward. She respected adv her advice. And she never spoke with anyone. She never left home until unless she had to. She used to clean house, cook for her friend, and she used to mend small silver chains at home. That's how she used to make some money. During this period, Shanti's co-national found a domestic job for her. It was a house of an old man and old lady. Shanti started living there. They gave a small room. She used to clean their house and she used to cook for this old couple. And in, and in return, Shanti had shelter and food. It has been one year that Shanti was working here. She didn't know that this thing, that her friend was collecting her salary from this old couple from last one year. Shanti was thinking that she is illegal, so she can't ask them for the salary. During this period, that old lady's husband passed away, so Shanti had to do less work. So they reduced her salary. Now Shanti was able to speak broken Italian. She can, you can say scarcely. She started going outside. She saw outer world. She started meeting with different people. She got acquainted with people. Shanti was very reticent and hard-working person. She found a job as a babysitter at some other place. And she left her another co-national with this old lady. But she didn't, she didn't do the same thing what her friend did to her. When Shanti was working, they were very rich people. They had big villa. They had shop in Arezzo, cent Arezzo Center just to pass the time. So you can say hobby. Although they didn't need this, Shanti was getting handsome salary and she used to eat healthy food, expensive clothes. But Shanti didn't work here for a long period. The reason was their children. They didn't like her because she was dark or you can say black. These kids kids wanted a white skin babysitter so they found a Polish girl through an international recruiting agency so Shanti had to leave Shanti knew about this so she had words with someone she found a job in retired army officer's house who didn't ma who didn't marry he had arthritis he was unable to walk he used to pass most of his time on his wheelchair. At night, Shanti used to put him on bed. Over here, Shanti had to say, stay with him for 24 hours. Sometime, he used to ask her for a glass of water or used to go to the toilet. She used to call her by ringing bell, which he had next to his bed. Shanti was very happy. 
because she had some she have seen mo more problems and difficulties before coming here it has been 2 years that chanti was in italy italy open immigration this retired army officer was a gentleman he submitted chanti's document and paid a tax as well which is called contributo in italian why he shouldn't have done this shanti was very nice she used to do everything for him sometime sometime she used to share bed with him to make him happy shanti was afraid if she refused to do this what this gentleman wants it's quite possible that he won't help her to get documents one thing shanti didn't know that if he will ask for for rejection of her papers she can sue her, sue him like this she he will be eligible to have 6 months permission to sojourn no permission of stay which means you are allowed to live legally and work as well and she will have found another job shanti didn't do anything like this exactly after one year perfect prefectura di arezzo the police station has given her permission to sojourn no work permit she was very happy she needed many dreams that she will go back to sri lanka she will see her kids she will take her husband to the hospital for proper treatment she used to think about these things many times now it was possible she spoke with that army man he said there isn't any problem i will give you only one month's leave because because of you i have comfort remember another thing find some nice lady or girl for one month who will stay with me in your absence shanti said i will do exactly what you are saying shanti still had few days for leaving to sri lanka one day early in the morning shanti pulled the old man old army man or army man wheelchair and brought him to jotho park she stopped the wheelchair close to the small lake where there are always two beautiful white swans she pretended that she is giving some food to swan and those swan came towards her all of a sudden shanti squeezed her hand placed it on her heart she fell on the floor the old army man started thinking that how he can help her he himself was handicapped few people were passing from there passing few passing through close to the park they saw the scene and called ambulance they came and took shanti to hospital they left that army man to his home they left a nurse with him until unless there would not have been any other arrangement now the problem in this matter is that imps imps will help shanti or enil imps is a when you are sick they give you money and enil it's a when you are work accident at work so this is the difference she will get salary or not according to the rules it's in fortunio it's a accident at work but we can't say anything about italian law what they do with what they do with shanti's case i pray for shanti she should get well soon because if your health is fine you can work again you can earn money but one thing is for sure that shanti won't be working as a badante because heart patient himself needs a person how can you look after someone else this is the end of the story and uh, in this story i'm not talking about shanti her misery her problem but i'm talking about the law as well and uh, i hope you like my video like my video subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and i'll come soon with you with my next video thank you very much